From the Buzz Mania Television Studios, it's everyone's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's your host, the star of Tic Tac Toe, Brandon Scrub. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Tic Tac Toe here at MVG Productions. Glad to have you with us once again. The Buzz Media TV studios have been ex filled with excitement because for the first time this season, we are going to have our first champions matchup. That's right. We have both our grand champion and interim champion here ready to duke it out, see who's going to take home their rightful place as the, ch as the grand champion and have a shot to take on Fluffy in our bonus round, which the jackpot currently stands at $12,000. So let's meet our players Right now, starting with our current reigning Grand Champion, who we've actually not seen since episode one of this season, but glad to have him back. His one, his one, uh, I think it's two game, actually, if I'm correct, yeah, two game cash total of $29,250. Uh, no, correction, I'm sorry, that's actually, according to my accountant here, who has just made me know noted on my correction here it's actually you have a current total of thirty four thousand six hundred fifty dollars cash cash it's mr tim mcclellan how you doing tim hey brandon it's great to be here i've missed you guys i uh, know we've missed you too glad to have you back sir been, it's been a minute since you've been with us tell me what you've been doing since you were here last well uh we've been busy at my job i mean I work at a job that works abnormal hours. You know, I go work in the daytime, in the morning, afternoon, night, overnight. And uh, this past weekend, I uh, took me and my girlfriend, went to my hometown of Jacksonville, Texas, which is about an hour away from where I live in Longview. Um, went to a high school reunion. And I thought it was pretty cool. I've always, I always dreaded that because I mean, my, my 15 year reunion's coming up this year, and I'm like, I'm a little hesitant to go on it, so I was like... You should, you should do it, buddy. I'll, I'll, I'll give it some thought and think about it, but I'm glad to have you back with us. You ready to see if you can hold on to that championship crown of yours? All right, let's get back in the well, Best of luck to you. And playing against you in our circle position, our reigning interim champion, who's won... It was two game, sorry, two game cash total is $16,200. It's Jessica. Jessica, how you doing? I'm doing pretty well, thank you very much. Fantastic, glad to have you back here. You've been a fighting champion for us, but are you ready to see if you can become our grand champion? Yep, best of luck to you, Tim. Hopefully the best player wins. All right. All right thank good, you. Best of luck to you, too. Good luck to you both. Let's get right to it, and let's, let's take a look at the categories that you'll be playing with for our first game of Tic-Tac-Toe, and they are the following. <laughs> And the categories are Geek Chic, Past, Present, and Future, On the Map, Secret Category, We're Booked, Take a Letter, Would You Rather, Holidays, Number Please. Those are your categories here. Of course, the red categories are special categories. Secret Category, get that one right. We double all the cash that's in the pot. Would You Rather, I will. we have surveyed 100 people and gave them a scenario of two choices between would they rather do A or B. You have to guess which one more people selected there in order to get the box. And the number please category, I will ask you a question that has a numerical answer to it. If, uh, if you get give me the correct answer, uh, you get the box. However, if you miss it, your opponent will get a chance to steal because I will tell them the correct answer is higher and lower. This will continue back and forth until one person gets the answer right on the nose. Once they do, they get the box, okay? With that said, uh, our first champions match of the season is underway. We're going to start with our reigning grand champion. That's Tim playing in the X position. You start, sir. Please select a category. Okay, let's go with take a letter. All right, take a letter, right side of the board. Here comes your take a letter question. As always, in the take a letter category, I will give you the first letter of the correct answer. You must give me the an answer. Hopefully that starts with the same letter that I'm telling you, all right? Here comes your question. Your letter for this take a letter question is letter J. Letter J. And again, as always, you have 30 seconds to get, come up with the correct answer. Okay. 
Here is your J question as I reset the clock because we were using it for something earlier today. 30 seconds, please. Thank you. Here's your J question. What J is the central column in an aeroplane cockpit that controls the elevators and the ailerons? Uh, could you repeat the question? Yeah, what J is the central column in an aeroplane cockpit that controls the elevators and the ailerons? Uh, I have no idea. I cannot think of anything. No guess. All right. No guess. All right, we're out of time then. Correct answer there was a joystick. Joystick. That's what I thought. Yep. Joystick's what really? we're looking for there. All right, no box there. Uh, no money in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories. Here we get the video game to turn it, I think. Yep. And Jessica, your first selection. I'll also take a letter, please. All right, take a letter. Upper right-hand corner. Here comes your take a letter question. Your letter is P, Jessica, letter P. What P is black and white swimming bird that never flies? For the box, name it. Hmm. I think it's the one that, that one doesn't swim. Uh, swim word. I'll say pigeon. I have no idea actually. No guess. Oh, that's, that's incorrect. The P bird we were looking for there is a penguin. Penguin is what we're looking oh. for. All right, no box there. We shuffle again. Break for Tim on this one. Okay, I'm going to try uh, Holidays in the Center. All right, Holidays in the Center box. Again, it's a two-part question. You'll have some extra time to think about it. Here comes your two Holidays questions. First, first one's this, Tim. Traditionally, the dome-shaped Russian cake known as kulch, that's K-U-L-I-C-H is served on what spring holiday? That's the first one. The second one is within 10 years, within 10 years one way or another, on September 21st of what year did the New York Sun publish the editorial, Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus, within 10 years one way or another? Those are your two questions. Here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Tim, which one would you like to answer first? Let's try the first one. All right. Traditionally, the dome-shaped Russian cake known as kulch is served on what spring holiday? Oh, would that be Easter? Easter is correct. Now for the center box of $300. Within 10 years, one way or another, September 21st of what year saw the debut of, in the New York Sun published, the editorial of Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus? I'm going to take, just say 1930. Uh, 1930, the correct answer is actually 1897, so I can't give you that one. Wow. Or should it. It's actually, the story is actually a lot older than most people remember it to be. So unfortunately, no box for Tim there. No money in the pot. We shuffle again. And Jessica, we're back to you. It's been the right round. Now uh, let's try, let's take holidays. Holidays in the lower left-hand corner. Here comes your holiday question. What's the, Jessica, what name is given to the UNICEF program that collects donations in orange boxes for kids worldwide? For the box, n name the, name the, uh, name the program. Uh, trick or treat. Yeah, trick or treat for UNICEF is correct. You got it. Put it all on the board. Well done. $200 in the pot now. Let's shuffle the categories. And control goes back to Tim. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go past, present, future. I'm right, going past, present, future. Left side of the board. Here comes your past, present, future question. All right, 
Tim, under past, present, future, here's your question. What measurement system does the country of France use? What measurement system does the country of France use? Uh, my guess is a metric system. That's a good guess, because you're right. Good job. Put an X on the board. Yep, only four countries in the world use the Imperial. Yes, us being one of them. <laughs> All right, four hundred dollars in the pot. We shuffle the categories again. Jessica, over to you. Oh, good. I went to go for it. We'll take we're booked. Okay, we're booked. Top left corner. Here comes your we're booked question. All right, what's the bet? What uh, what is the best-selling English language book after the Bible? So we're looking for the second best. English language bookseller after the Bible. For the box, name the book. War and Peace by, by Tolstoy. No, I'm sorry. That's actually a really good guess, but that's not what we're looking for. Uh, the book is actually A Tale of Two Cities. Tale of Two Cities is oh, the book. How's that one here? Yeah, War and Peace might be the third one after, after that, I believe. I'll have to look it up after the show. $400 in the pot there. We'll shuffle the categories. And Tim, we go back to you. Okay, uh, let's try... Uh, I'm going to try number of plays up in the upper left. All right, going with number of plays category. It's one of our red categories again. I'm going to go back and forth on this one. First person to give me the correct answer to this question will get the box, all right? All right, I need, all right, of the world's population, I simply need to know what percent of the world's population are left-handed. What percent of the world's population are left-handed? Tim, you picked the box, so you get to answer first. Uh, what percent of the world's population is left-handed? Yes. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 40%. 40%? That's wrong. Jessica, the correct answer is lower. As I thought it was, I believe I know this offhand. Send. Uh, what was that? 10. No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect as well. Tim, the correct answer is lower than that. Oh, uh, what was, the, what was uh, Jessica's answer? She said 10. 10%? I'm going to say uh, 8%. That's incorrect as well. Jessica, answer is lower than that. I don't think it's much lower. Um, or it can't be much. I'll say, I'll say 7%. 7% is the correct answer. You got it. You get the box. Uh, All right. Good stuff. Yeah, 7% of the world's population is... Uh, left-handed so basically maybe one out of every 10 people you meet are left-handed in the world at best it's close it's closer to like one out of every 15 to be honest with you for, for math points. maybe one out of uh, given that said be one out of one out of 14.3333 repeat so yeah one out of 14 yeah. and a baby <laughs> Uh, $600 in the pot now. Jessica steals the box from Tim. We shuffle the categories. And Jessica, it's your turn. Hmm. Let's go to the secret box. Go with the secret category, upper right-hand corner. You can get this secret category question correct. We double the cash in the pot. We'll do $1,200. Here, here comes your question. All right, Jessica, what game usually begins with, is it an animal, vegetable, or mineral? For the double the pot. 20 questions. 20 questions is correct. You got it. Double the pot. All right. All right. $1,200 in the bank. Now let's shuffle the categories once again. Tim, we're back to you. I gotta go on the map. All right, on the map in the center for the for a block here. Again, a two-part question. 
you'll have some extra time to think about it. Here comes your on the map questions. All right, first off, first one is this here, Tim. The Lore, the Rhone, and the Marne are all rivers in what European country? Again, the Lore, the Rhone, and the Marne are all rivers in what in, uh, what European country? That's the first one. The second one is, what U.S. state has the largest river delta but also has the fastest loss of wetlands in the country? And we're looking for a U.S. state on that one. Here's your two questions. Here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Tim, which one would you like to answer first? Just try the first one. All right. The Loire, the Rhone, and the Marne are all rivers of what European country? I'm going to take a guess and say France. France is correct. You got it. And now for that center box and the block, we're at $300 to the pot. What U.S. state has the largest river delta but also has the fastest loss of wetlands in the entire country? I'm going to say Louisiana. Louisiana is correct. You got the block, sir. Well done. Very nice. I thought it was Mississippi. Um, yeah, very well. Nicely done. X on the board. $1,500 in the pot. Close game on this champion's battle here as we shuffle the categories. <laughs> Jessica, it's your turn. Guess what I was hoping for? Take a letter. Take a letter for the win. Get this question correct. That's Tic-Tac-Toe, $1,700. You become the new champion, and you'll be headed back to the bonus round. Here comes your take a letter question. Good luck. All right. Your letter is F. Letter F, Jessica. What F do you usually have in the pie when officiously concerned with something. For Tic Tac Dell with $1,700, name it. Uh, could you repeat that, please? What F do you have in the pie when you're officiously concerned with something? I'm thinking of the yeah. Five seconds. Let's see, I'll say I uh, flash. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The F we were looking for is the finger. You have your finger in the pie, is what we're looking for there. That's the expression uh, okay. used there. All right, so no box there for Jessica. Still $1,500 in the pot. Break for Tim as we shuffle the categories. <laughs> Tim, where are we at? I'm going to go with uh, on that for the week. All right. Same scenario for you. Get this one right. It's tic-tac-toe for you. $1,700. You remain as grand champion, and you'll be headed to the bonus round. Here comes your on the map question. All right, Tim. What are the deepest canyons in the oceans called? For tic-tac-toe and $1,700, what are they called? Trenches. Trenches is the correct answer. You got tic tac toe. Very nice. Good game. Thank you, Jess. Good game. Wow. Yay wow. for Tim. Congratulations. Thank you. Back and forth battle between both of y'all. Well done, Tim. You have managed to hold off Jessica. You got tic tac toe, another $1,700, and you're going to be headed back to the bonus round here in just a moment. Well, Jessica, you can't be too disappointed with your performance here. You've done really well for yourself. You're not walking away empty-handed here. We have for you in cash a nice lump sum of $16,200 there. Congratulations. Thank you, and best of luck to Tim and the Bone. The same game. Yes, we're, he, he, we're going to add that $1,700 to your score now, Tim, which brings you up to a three-game winning total now of... $36,350. Are you ready to see if you can add some more money to that? Uh, let's do it. 
All right, let's let's go on over here. Let's see if you how you do in our bonus round. Let's see if you can beat that dragon. Come on over. On to get that dragon. All right, welcome to bonus land here, Tim. You know how this works. We got nine boxes up on the board there. They got all have cash amounts in them. Some have a tick. Some have a tack, and of course, one has that pesky dragon. Your objective is to get $1,000 off the board or find Ticket Tech before you find Fluffy the Dragon in the center. If you do, you win the cash of the pot times the number of boxes recovered on the board. However, if you find Ticket Tech on any of your two picks, you win the Tic Tac checkpot, which currently stands at $12,000. Find it in your first two picks, we double it to $24,000, and you have a chance to play our super bonus game, all right? All right. All right, best of luck to you. Let's shuffle the board around. Fluffy, please go hide somewhere and stay there this time. I'd actually like to give away some money on this one. All right, Tim, whenever you are ready, start picking a good luck to you. All right, I am going to start with the day I was born. It was uh, on the 7th, so I'm going with 7. Number 7, behind box 7 this time. What do we have? That's $400. A good start there. Four hundred. You need six hundred more or tick attack. Okay, let's uh, let's go. Uh, let's go to the opposite corner, number three. Opposite side, number three. Behind three, we have. There's a hundred fifty for you. That's five fifty now. You need four fifty more. Of course, remember as always, if you have a fear of the dragon, you can stop and take the money you've won. All right. Uh. Let's go down to number six. Risking it on number six, looking for four fifty behind six. We have there's another two fifty for you, up to eight hundred dollars now. Two hundred dollars away will get you that win, Tim. Two boxes on the board are your instant winners right now. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna keep going. I'm feeling lucky. Uh, let's go with the deuce, number two. Number two, top of the board, looking behind the deuce for, looking for $200 or tick attack. Behind two. Hey, it's 300, we got a winner. Hey, right, for Tim. Congratulations, sir. You just won $1,100 in our bonus game. We're going to multiply that by the five boxes remaining up there. It gives you a bonus round total of $5,500 this time. Well done. Add, add that to your previous winnings. Now it gives you a three-game cash total now of $41,850. Well played, sir. All right. Uh, let's see where that dragon was. One, four, five, eight, nine. Let's see where he's hiding. There he was. The dragon was behind number four. And the tick and the tack were behind five and eight, respectively, there. All right, so congratulations to Tim, picking up $5,500 in the bonus round. Jackpot was not won this time, so we're going to add another $1,000 to that, making it worth $13,000 on our next bonus round. So we're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we have another game for Tic Tac Dell on the way. So stay tuned, won't you? Welcome back to Tic Tac Do. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Tim, our ch current champion now, $41,850 richer, and now he is ready to take on his next opponent. So let's meet him now. Playing in the circle position this time, we have Mark. Mark, how are we doing? I ain't doing this fine, Brando. Fantastic. Are you ready to see if you can win take down Tim become the new champion? I am ready. All right, well, best of luck to you, sir. Good, good luck to you both. And now let's take a look at the categories you'll we'll be playing with in this game of Tic-Tac-Doe, and they are the following. We have history and politics, people and places, pop culture, anything goes, true or false, athletic feats, secret category, challenge category, and trivia dare. 
Our red categories this time, of course, the secret category doubles all the cash in the pot, if you get the question correct. Challenge category, I will ask you a multiple choice question. You will have then the choice to either answer it or pass it to challenge your opponent to answer it. Whomever answers the question will then hear the four answers to it. If you give me the correct answer, you get the box. If you're wrong, your opponent gets the box there. And the trivia dare category is another multiple choice question one. I will give you a question that has four answers to it. Uh, you will choose to an you'll answer the question. If you get it wrong, your opponent has a chance to steal it from you with the three remaining answers to it. Okay, as well. With that said, good luck to you both. We're going to start with our champion as always. Tim, make the first selection. All right. Let's, um, let's go with true or false in the center. All right, center box for the true or false. Two-part question here. You'll get some extra time to think about it. Here comes your two true or false questions. Okay, first one is this. True or false, Tim? The colored squares on toothpaste tubes identifies the composition of the toothpaste enclosed therein. Yeah? To the colored squares on toothpaste tubes identifies the composition of the toothpaste that's enclosed inside. That's your first one. And your second true or false is this. Actually, I'm at the end of the page. Let me go to the next one. Your second true or false is this, Tim. Viva Paris animals lay eggs. Viva Paris. That's V I V I P A R O U S. Viva Paris animals lay eggs. Is that statement true or false? Those are your two questions. Here's your extra time to think about it. All right, Tim, which one do you want to answer first? Uh, let's try the first one. All right, first one. True or false, the colored squares on toothpaste tubes identify the composition of toothpaste enclosed inside. I'm going to say that's true. No, I'm sorry. That's actually false. That is not true in that case there. Of I can't give you the box there. On the second one, uh, viviparous animals lay eggs. That's actually false. They're oviparous animals. They lay eggs. All right. No box there on that one. We'll shuffle the categories. And we'll send things over to Mark. Okay. Let's go with athletic feats, please. Athletic feats. Upper left-hand corner. Here comes your athletic feats question. All right, Mark. What are the first four words of the most famous song you sing during a baseball game? What are the first four words of the most famous song you sing during a baseball game? For the box, name them. First four words. Uh-huh. Okay, I believe the song you refer to during the seventh inning stretch. So the words would be, take me out to. Yep, take me out to the ball game. You are absolutely correct, sir. You get the box. Put it on the board. Nicely done, sir. $200 in the pot. And people say I don't do enough baseball questions on this show. <laughs> ha! I laugh in the general direction. Let's shuffle. <clears throat> Tim, over to you. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go uh, people and places. People and places. Lower left-hand corner. Here comes your people and places question. All right, Tim, who invented the electric light bulb? I believe that was Thomas Edison. Edison is correct. Very good. You got it. Put next to the board. All right. Here we go. $400 in the pot. Let's shove the categories again. Control goes back to Mark. Okay. Uh, looks like I'll have to go different route here. Um, give me a true or false, Brando. True or false, all right? Right side of the board, here comes your true or false statement. Scotland Yard is the name of the Territorial Police Force of London. I will say that that's true. And that is the correct answer. You got it. Put a no on the board. 
$600 now in the pot. Reshuffle the categories again. Tim, back to you. I gotta go pop culture to block. Pop culture, top middle of the board to block there. Here comes your pop culture question. What actress played Gertie in Steven Spielberg's E.T.? For the block, name her. Oh, the always delightful, the always beautiful Drew Barrymore. And that is correct. You got it. Put an X up there for the block. Oh, no. You got it right. $800 now in the pot with a successful block. Let's shuffle the categories. Uh, Mark, back to you. Hey, uh, let's try athletic feats. Athletic feats, bottom right-hand corner. Here comes your athletic feats question. All right, Mark, what former boxing heavyweight champion of the world said this quote? The man who views the world at 50 the same as he did at 20 has wasted 30 years of his life. For the box, name the boxer. Okay. Uh, there is one person I'm thinking of, but I f don't think that's right. Uh... Is it Mike Tyson? No, I'm sorry. It's not Tyson we're looking for there. The famous boxer in question, of course, is the late, great Muhammad Ali. Oh! Muhammad Ali there. So no box there. We got $800 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories again. And Tim, we're back to you. Okay. I don't remember Muhammad Ali's I'm, name. I'm going to go with Paul Culture in the center. All right, going pop culture in the center. A two-part question on this one. You'll have some extra time to think about it. Here comes your two-part question. All right, Tim, what two actors starred in, as the main characters in the movie Casablanca? What two actors starred in the, as the main characters in the movie Casablanca? There's your question. Here's your extra time to think about it. <laughs> All right, Tim, who are the, name the two actors. I think it would be Humphrey Bogart that's and one. Ingrid, Ingrid Bergman. And that's the other. You got both of them right. Good job. Put an X to the board. $1,100 in the pot now. Tim's on a roll here. Let's shut the categories. Mark, we come back to you. Uh, I'll have to go with a challenge category to all right, challenge category it is. Get this question correct on the challenge category. You'll have a successful block. However, if Tim wins the box, it's tic-tac-toe for him. $1,300, and we he'll go back for another shot at the bonus round, okay? Right. Again, the challenge category, I will read you a question. You'll have the choice to either answer that question, or you could pass challenge Tim to answer it, all right? So all here right. comes your challenge category question. All right, your question is this, Mark. In the United States, how many albums do you have to sell to get a gold record? In the United States, how many albums do you have to sell to get a gold record? Do you want to answer that question, or do you want to challenge Tim? Oh, this one deals with music, not my strong area. Tim? Okay. All right, Tim gets this one, all right. Tim, get this question right. It's tic-tac-toe, $1,300, and you'll be playing the bonus round. All right, once again, in the United States, how many albums do you have to sell to get a gold record? Is it A, 100,000, B, 300,000, C, 1 million, or D, 500,000? I believe a gold record is 500,000. And that is the correct answer you got, tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Done Tim. Congrats. Thank you. Well, my strategy did not work. Not this time, unfortunately. He's a good player. He's a very good player there. So congratulations to you, Tim. Another thirteen hundred dollars for you, and you're gonna be going back to face the dragon here in just a moment. Well, Mark, we thank you for playing. We got some life parting gifts for you, and of course five well, so we thank you for playing. And we'll definitely, right. we'll definitely have you back for another episode. 
All right, Tim, with that win right there, that brings your cash winnings now up to a whopping total of $43,150. Are you ready to see if you can add some more money to that? Oh, definitely. All right, well, then come on over here. Let's play the Beat the Dragon game. Come on. All right, welcome back to the bonus round. Tim, you need another chance to add some more winnings, some more cash to your winnings here. Uh, just as a reminder, this time around, if you should find the Tick and Attack on any of your two picks, the Tick Tech jackpot currently stands at $13,000. If you can find them on your first two picks, we'll double it to $26,000 and you have a chance again to play that super bonus game, all right? Best of luck to you. So let's shuffle the board. Fluffy, go hide somewhere and stay there this time. All right, and Tim, when you're ready, start picking, and good luck to you. All right. Uh, let's start with number nine. Number nine this time. Bottom right-hand corner looking for a tick or a tack. Behind nine, it's $300. Okay. Uh, well, I'll keep going. Let's go with uh, number one. Risking it. For, uh, behind number one, we'll see a tick or a tack. Behind one. Hey, there's the tick. Find me tech. I give you twenty six. Sorry, thirteen thousand dollars. Excuse me. All right, I am going to say that the tech is behind number four. Number four, top and bottom, looking for that combination there. Tech for thirteen thousand dollars. Nope, it's two fifty though. You're up to five fifty now. You need four fifty or tech. All right, let's go down to number seven. Number seven. Two boxes on the board right now give you that instant win. We're looking for the $500 space or attack for 13000 behind seven. That's $400. So, all right, this is going to be your last pick, Tim. You either win or lose on this one. Find any money, you get the cash. Find the attack, you get $13,000. Find that dragon, we all cry tears of, of lo loss for you. All right, let's um, go over number six. Number six, right side of the board. We want to see attack for $13,000 behind six. No! You come on, Fluffy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why you got to be so rude, Dragon? Ah, so close, Tim. You were right there. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the board, see where everything was. Two, three, five, eight. I uh, should have went in the center. Number five had the tack that time. Well, Tim, I can't give you any bonus money this time around, but you still are champion. You've got forty-three thousand one hundred fifty dollars. We're gonna add another. We're gonna add another thousand dollars to that jackpot. So next time we play, it's gonna be worth fourteen thousand dollars. And we're gonna take another commercial break. And when we come back, we'll do our Dragon Finder game. See if we can give away somebody five thousand dollars. We'll do that right after this. Here on Tic Tac. -Tac. Welcome back to Tic Tac Doe. It is now time for our Dragon Finder game here. We've got four contestants in our audience here tonight. One of them's hopefully going to find that darn dragon since he keeps showing his face here. First person to do it is going to get themselves $5,000 cash and they're going to add it to their best run here on the show. All right. So since there are four of you, we got nine boxes up there. You're each going to get to pick twice. You pick one box at a time going in a row. So hopefully, if you don't find the dragon, pray no one else does when it comes back to your second turn, okay? So good luck to you all. We're, we're hunting dragons. And we're going to start with the man at the top of the list right here, and that would be Marty. Marty, nine numbers I, up on the board. Where do you think that dragon's hiding? I think he's hiding behind number three. Number three, top right corner. Is the dragon there? Wow! First shot right at the bird. Bang! Bang! Holy, holy, holy. Well, dang, Marty, right out the box. 
He's like, I don't need no two stinking picks. I got in one. Congratulations, sir. Five thousand dollars in cash. That's gonna be added to your best to your first run once you become champion here on the show. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And now let's reveal the rest of the board just to just to keep everybody honest there. Wow. That that's kind of rare. It's rare that that, well, that segment usually takes like a good minute or so, but you know what? That's just the way it happens sometimes. First shot, first winner. So congratulations to Marty there. And congratulations to Tim, our still reigning grand champion now. He's got himself $41,350. He's going to join us back here, hopefully our next episode here, where he continue to defend that championship. And we want to thank you guys for playing here at the Buzzmania Studio. So thank you guys for watching out there in YouTube land. Remember, if you like the series, click that like button down below. It really does help my channel. And don't forget to share the video with your friends who like the game show. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, more people are subscribing every single day. And you can get it on the fun, too. Hit the subscribe button and hit that bell. That way you never miss a video I drop here at MVGG Production. And if you'd like to become a contestant here on Tic Tac Dell and want to join us for all the craziness here on the Buzz Media servers, leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'll get you the information you need, and you could be the next big winner right here on Tic Tac Dell. And until we go dragon hunting once again, and Marty takes more of my money, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, <laughs> saying thanks for watching this episode of Tic Tac Dell. We will see you all next time. Take care, and bye for now, folks. Some of our party contestants will receive an electric toothbrush from Listerine. It's strong enough to give you clean breath that lasts hours. Listerine antiseptic kills the germs that can cause bad breath. Listerine uses directed. A punchable set by Canada Dry. A name that means refreshment with a special sparkle beverage for every taste. Canada Dry is the real. A supply of pasta mops brings to be the gourmet cooking with its designer line of pasta. Everything from fettuccine Alfredo to their line of dessert pastas and sauces from Pasta Mama. A Mary Earhart super light. Wait, non-stop carry-on luggage. Casual, practical, and designed with your lifestyle in mind. Quality luggage that you can count on non-stop by Amelia Earhart. And one lucky member of our studio who receives science systems sensor chest, providing the realism of intelligent chest and the performance of a computer in a compact package. Science systems provide eight levels of strategic play from beginner to the advanced player furnished by science systems. This is Michael Gentry speaking for Tic Tac Doe, an MPG production in association with Buzz Mania Television.